All good things must come to an end, and this is the last episode of the PHN to save. Welcome to the end. Okay, so I've decided I might as well record it anyway, so here we go. It is Sampdoria versus Piacenza, and the main thing that we want to achieve here is we want Landy to get his goal. We need Landy to get his goal in this game. We are going to go attacking from the start. Delivio is going to be an, on, attack, on, an, on an attack. Delivio is going to be on an attack mentality. Dignazio is going to be on an attack mentality. Anybody that can be is going to be on an attack mentality because we want a goal and I don't fucking care. We, we just need Landy to score. Um, it's still going to stay like this. In fact, is Porto Nova back or not yet? I think he was just suspended, wasn't he? So he, sh he should be back. Yes, he's back. So what we can do is we'll move Zakagni, put Porto Nova in for Thompson, and then we swap them over. And then we'll make Zellalem a deep line playmaker and support. Now this is this is quite an attacking lineup, but we want Landy to score. We need Landy to score. So this is what we're doing. To be honest, I'm not even that bothered if we lose this game. I mean, obviously there's European qualification on the cards, so it would be nice to win it. But the most important thing is that Landy gets his goal. That really is the, that really is the most important thing here. In, in terms of the save, you know, wherever we finish, we're going to finish top half of the table, and that's brilliant. We're on full match highlights. <laughs> Every fucking time we're on full match highlights. Hang on, let's change it. Um, yeah, the most important thing in terms of the save is that Landy gets his goal. 30 goals, and, you know, he's flying, basically. I mean, he's already one top scorer, but 30 goals, that'd be nice. Oh! So as it stands, we are actually in sixth position. I didn't realize. <gasps> now we've switched to seventh. I didn't realize we do need the win. Zellalem, Palmieri. Oh, and Palmieri just wide. Right, well, this changes things. I hadn't been paying attention to the league at all because I'd just been thinking about skipping forward to get to this game so that Landy could score! just missed but what this means is now we need the win because if we get a win and we go up to sixth we're in Europe we need the win we have to win this give us the goal here's La Roca. no yes La Roca's picked it up he's found Triani just and then Delivio picks it up Palmieri straight to Gallini come on Dignazio Velasquez Palmieri Delivio 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 Yes! 1-0. Okay. All the refs checking VAR. I didn't notice. I didn't notice what happened there. Palmieri. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. It's tight. Oh, did he get back in time? Yes, he did. Get in. The goal will stand. Brilliant. 1-0. So, that means that we're up to 6th position. We are now in a position to qualify for Europe, as long as they don't score. Which I hope they won't. Rosario to Villena. Spinazzola. Oh, God. Palmieri. Give it to Landy. Luke La Rocca. Here's to Livio. Landy's in the middle. Can he reach him? Landy! Oh, Landy unselfishly cuts it back. Palmieri still got it. And now they can counter not really a counter though. We're dominating 11 shots to two. We've had less possession, but they look very defensive. Right, I'm going to go very attacking for the last five minutes of, of the half. 1-0, half time. Kept everything as is, staying with the same team. Obviously, Landy's going to stay on. Here's Velasquez to Luque. Velasquez again. Porto Nova, we're still on very attacking. I'm going to stick with very attacking for the first five minutes and see where that gets us. His believe. A long ball. Can La Roca get to it? No, but we've got the second ball. Zellalem to Landy to Palmieri. 
Palmieri, he's found Landy! Landy cuts it back! Here's Galini. Over the top. Velasquez nods it to Zelalem, and Zelalem loses out. Not ideal. Bonazzoli, we do not want to concede here. Salah, spin at Sola. Don't do it, Janto. Spin at Sola. Tackle him. Oh, tackle him. Oh my goodness, and he's Delivio. He's found La Roca. La Roca. He's found Palmieri. Palmieri. Portanova. Fucking amazing. Come on. Zelalem. Palmieri. Zelalem. Portanova. Zelalem. La Roca. He scored. Yes. Okay, great. So it looks like, it's looking more and more like European football could be a reality. But we need that Landy goal. We need that Landy goal. I'm going to let this get to sort of 60, 70 minutes or so, and then I'm going to start to think about, if it hasn't happened, I'm going to start to think about how I can make that happen. 62 minutes, throw in Portanova. Zelalem is going to shoot. Oh! 15 shots to 6. Salah. Did we get it? Oh, it's ping-ponging around all over the place there. We've got it back. Palmieri. Portanova, no. Can't get to it. Oh no, and they're attacking now. Don't let this go in. That could make things nervy. Our field. Oof, and he misses. They don't look threatening. We're on 70 minutes, so I'm going to go into team, team instructions here. I've just said show some passion. Hopefully that'll do something. We're going to go much, extremely direct, extremely high tempo. No, actually, we're going to stick the tempo the same. We might as well play for set pieces as well, because that could give us an advantage. But what I really want to do... We'll do a bit more pressing as well, actually, a more urgent pressing. But what I really want to do is this, distribute over opposition defence, because Landy is really good at running onto balls. So hopefully this might do something. And if possible, yes, I'm just going to push that line of engagement slightly higher. And I think that'll do. Come on, FM, don't let me down now. The last episode, we something... Amazing has got to happen in the last episode. Something amazing has got to happen now. Here's Portanova. Zellalem. Z no. <laughs> that wasn't amazing, was it? We need a little bit of magic here. A little bit of magic from someone. Luke. Oh, and here's Landy. He's on. What can he do? Landy. <gasps> That's the ball over the top that I'm talking about, though. Okay, 85 minutes. We're going to make some substitutions here because Delivio is exhausted, so Cicciaretti is going to have to come on. Palmieri's tired as well, so we're going to bring Gambato on, the old favourite Gambato. And I think we'll take Triani off as well. This is it now for Landy. This is it. Let's go to full highlights. Let's go to full highlights and see if we get a little bit more nervous. <laughs> okay, so Sampdoria have got a throw in. Down our end of the pitch. Dignazio's cleared it. He's found Landy. What can Landy do? Nothing. Sampdoria passing it around now, but we've taken it off them. It's a free kick, though. Cicchetti took his man down. 89 minutes. It's coming up to 90 minutes now. Velasquez clears. Portanova. Laborne. Sloppy pass from Laborne. Arfield's got it. gone out for a throw in come on Piacenza let's go and we're gonna, we're gonna have to do something here I need to do some shout because this is ridiculous Conacci oh it's just over right show some passion I mean that was a bad shout that was a bad shout actually Cicciaretti Portanova La Rocca, Velasquez over the top to nobody. Zelalem. Oh. And Sampdoria get it. And Laborne again. Laborne has been useless since he's come on. Moron. He's got a yellow. Stay calm, Laborne. Sampdoria with the ball over the top to no one. Just give up, Sampdoria. Give Landy the goal. 
Here's La Roca. Wins the header. Portanova finds Gambato. Landy! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Landy, you silly sausage. <laughs> he should have done it, shouldn't he? Oh, Landy. I mean, that you sh I, I know I shouldn't be disappointed about this, but I am. We, we've, we've qualified for Europe. We're financially stable. We're in Serie A, and we've got the Capo Cannonieri winner. But I'm disappointed because Landy didn't get that one extra goal that would make it 30 goals in a season. But, God, you know, everything else. Tick, 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 tick. So we've qualified for the Europa League, which is brilliant. I'm really looking forward to that next season. You won't see it because it's not going to be on the channel. But, you know, like I said, follow me on Twitter. Go and, go and check out Slack. If you're not on Slack, go and check it out. It's really good. You know, you, you a lot of good people on there, a lot of good conversation. Come and join my channel and have a look on there. It's kind of like Discord if you've ever used Discord, but better in my opinion. Um, so yeah, come and check that out and I'll probably talk about stuff on there. So you'll you'll see what happens to Landy and all the others in Europe. We've received 3.4 million. It's not that much, is it really, for sixth place? Oh God, what's our payout? Ah, it's not that bad. 525k paid out. That's that's okay. I can live with that. Yeah, G believes Landy should be Serie A player of the season. Well, he he should, shouldn't he? Clearly. Go on, let's have one last look at Landy. He definitely should be current ability four stars, potential ability five stars. His attributes are not the best in the world, as we've said already, but 18 years old. It's only valued at 7 million. I need to get this kid a new contract as soon as possible. Record high for Piacenza. Previous best finish in Serie A was 12th place, and I think I spoke about that in the first film, so it's like, how things have come first circle. 12th place being Piacenza's best ever finish, and I never thought we'd get anywhere near that. Sixth, we've done it. That's absolutely, that is absolutely brilliant. And that's also really, really freaky because tomorrow is the 6th of August, which is my son's birthday. And the 12th of August is my daughter's birthday. So that is serendipitous. And this whole fucking season, this whole save has been based on some level of serendipity with like the FM 2019, Piacenza founded in 1919, you know, it's like, it's all... So players indicted, inducted, indicted, <laughs> players inducted into the Piacenza overall best 11 squad. So you, it's, it's basically all of them, isn't it? Look, Velasquez and Luque are in there. Carazza is still in there. So Thompson has got in there as well. So Carazza is the only player left over who, who didn't play this season to, to still be in that squad. And that's because he won the top scorer award for us back in Serie Chia. Piacenza end of season awards. Not surprisingly, the fans player of the season was John Marco Landi. Goal of the season, Gedeon Zellalem versus Torino. It's going to be a long strike, is it? Not surprisingly. Here we go. Zellalem's just going to strike it, yeah. It's a good goal, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, signing of the season, Landy. No shit. And 1.55 million from T Toronto. And it's a Torino. From Toronto. That, that would have been an Atalanta Atlanta incident all over again, wouldn't it? Gianmarco Landy, 1.5 million from Toronto. And we didn't even have to pay 1.5 million. We only paid it to get him immediately, which I didn't have to do. But I had a feeling about him. It's easy to say that now, isn't it? But I did. I had a feeling about this kid. And pff, turned out to be right. Landy is named the top goal scorer, award winner. That is our final target achieved. We've done it. We've ticked all the boxes this season. It's been amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, leave some comments because I, it's so nice to hear from you. It's so nice to hear when people have enjoyed the save. Honestly, it's, it's difficult to do sometimes. It's hard work. It is tough to find the time to do it working full time running my own business looking after kids it is tough to find the time so I'm, I'm sorry that my films can't be more regular than this I would love them to be I just just can't do it but thanks for watching anyway and thanks for subscribing and if you're not subscribed then subscribe what are you doing but follow me on Twitter 
come and join in on Slack and, you know, keep keep in touch <laughs> and I'll be back soon. This might not be the end for FM19. I might do some other stuff on the channel. I, I can't be sure, but I might do a few little experiments and things like that leading into FM20. But the next thing you'll see probably will be a reveal of who I'm going to be managing in FM20. And I'm, I'm quite excited about it. It's a bit different for me. It's a bit weird. It's a bit of a weird one. But I'm quite excited about it. I think it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to FM20. So, yeah. Thank you. And, uh, you know, thanks for all the good comments I've had over the, over the past year or so doing this. And I hope you come back for more. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. I'll see you for FM20. Thank <laughs> you.